<clears throat> Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. I'm actually sitting here in our room waiting, uh, waiting for the mover to come back so I can finish moving. And it's uh, like 8.30 or something at night. I've been working, you know, since I woke up this morning. Um, and poor Max, Max is over there and he's freaking out because he's, he's not used to this trauma of moving and, and his litter box isn't there and his, yes, he's got a harness on and he's very unhappy trying to see what's going on. And this poor Max is having a horrible little little anxiety attack, little kitty anxiety attack. And poor Timothy was having a human size <laughs> anxiety attack. Um, you know, <clears throat> I get this thing where, like, um, I call it sundowning, although that may not be what it is. That's what uh, people who have Alzheimer's call the fact that at night they don't, think as clearly as they did during the day, but, um, there he is. I'm worried about my little kitty cat. Anyway, uh, my sundowning isn't really so much that I don't remember what I was doing. It's more that, that I start to feel like I'm dying. Um, and I have hepatitis C. I've had that since the government secret agents gave it to me. That's a whole story in and of itself. Um, I went to some place, they paid me some money. I didn't have it. I wasn't engaged in behavior that should have given it to me. I went back every six months for several years. I didn't have it, wasn't engaging in behavior. Then suddenly in the middle of this whole thing, I ended up with hepatitis C. And a few months later, the place disappeared and that was that. So um, they did take my blood and inject me with uh, a test, what they called a test for, you know, they did a whole bunch of stuff. And stupid me! This was before I realized that I was a target. I let these people give me a fatal dose of something that will kill me in 20 years. Now, that being said, um, I really didn't realize this until later. I thought maybe it was my fault, although it was strange that the, uh, you know, the behavior, I wasn't using, having weird sex or using intravenous drugs or, or whatever, but, um, so, anyway, um, the feeling, supposedly, that one gets when one is dying from hepatitis, uh, because what hepatitis virus does, just like any other virus, it goes into you, it, uh, opens a cell, goes into a cell, injects itself, replicates itself inside the cell using the cell's nutrition and stuff as a, a breeding ground for itself. Hi, Max. Hi, honey. And, um, yes, you're such a good boy. Max is doing such a good job at dealing with this. He's very stressed out. Um, anyway, the cell uh, then explodes, releasing you know, the millions of copies of the virus that the virus made from itself by injecting itself into the cell and it kills the cell. And those millions of replicated viral uh, viruses go on to infect more cells, which then produce millions of more viruses, and, and that's pretty much what it is. Now, some people think that hepatitis C is merely a disease of the liver, and it does, in fact, affect the liver, but uh, it's my belief, just like any other viral infection, uh, this is a viral infection that is systemic. In other words, it goes throughout the entire system of your body, through all your organs. And uh, anyway, the feelings that they claim uh, in the medical text that people get from hepatitis C are... Um, Oh, Max, I know, honey, he's making me very unhappy. I really worry about my kitty cat. Um, anyway, the feelings are fever, weakness, joint pain, uh, weakness, pains in the bones, pains in the muscles, all over pain. Feeling like a high fever when you're achy and sore and weak and headache and uh, stomach problems and nausea and... Um, that's just the, 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 the easy stuff, the flu-like symptoms, um, 
weakness and um, you know that's what I feel at night usually it comes on sort of like click uh, around the time the sun goes down um, and I don't know whether it's it's a frequency related attack or it's just my immune system giving out from the crazy Morgellons or or you know maybe it's, it's a, I don't know man but I look at myself you know um, by the way talking like this just sort of makes me feel a little better I'm not worried about whatever I have a high frequency in my ear this is a non-stop 24-7 uh, attack sometimes it's really loud enough to make you throw up other times it's just loud enough to drive you insane um, ah, fun. oh he's behind the curtain now he's trying to anyway high frequency um, and the weakness and the headaches and, and some of these things seem to come and go like a switch and there's been times recently where I'm starting to have really fucked up neurological um, symptoms where and this happened to me earlier on when they had me on Zoloft which I stopped taking because it wasn't doing anything and I didn't need it anyway where um, it was almost like my brain is the light and somebody is on the switch, and they go, just fast enough, like that. And that would be my consciousness, the light. And it would dim out, and, and I would feel like I'm gonna fall over, uh, or pass out or something. But it wasn't a blood pressure thing. It was not a systolic, diastolic, stand up, sit down, blood pressure, because Zoloft does mess with that. That was a separate issue. No, this was neurological symptoms. And it would happen, you know, they claimed they had never heard of such things, but to me it was like being switched on and off. Now what that really was, who knows? Because back then, all those years ago, I didn't know that I was a targeted individual. I didn't even know there was such a program or that it was called targeting or anything. Uh, I just knew that my life was screwed up and that I went from being this guy who had like this magic touch who could, who could get people to listen to him and agree with, with what he wanted to do and had all these fantastic ideas and people would, would join along and you know, we would blend our talents and we would make things happen and I went from being this guy who, who really was living the dream, you know, I had everything I wanted and I was, uh, had a career as a recording engineer and had my own studio and I was just making a name for myself, working with people who produced Run DMC and LL Cool J and Beastie Boys and the Wise Guys and Ill and Tron and Real Roxanne and on and on and on and on. You know, I had met a lot of these people, I had worked with them, and, and they had come, some of them checked out my studio, and I was doing demo work for them, and, and uh, anyway, you know, then I went from that, from this guy who had the magic touch, to this guy who could not make anything happen, I would have these, you know, at first, I lost everything, um, then I lost it again, then I did stupid shit and got arrested and ended up going to jail when other people probably would have gotten out. I did a year. Then, uh, you know, it just went on and on and on. I got involved with these people who were, like, really nice to me, but when I screwed up the tiniest bit, they, like, well, bam! And I ended up paying them all this money and, you know, basically just getting fucked after fucked after fucked and thinking it was my own fault. And I would come up with these ideas and I would approach business people with these fully put together packages of how to make all this money and how it's going to work and the contracts and negotiations, where to set up, you know, selling mobile phones or whatever it was, making bags or, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. I had ideas, inventions, and, and they would be like, yes, yes. And then soon I would come back and they would be like, I don't know who you are. And literally, things would fall apart so much that I, after seven years of this, I said to myself, what am I, cursed? Did somebody use dark magic on me? You know, so I even went to the occult stores, and when I said, you know, this is my problem, da -da 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 -da, can you help me? They were like, no, we can't help you. There's nothing we can say. We don't know what book to show you. Please leave the store. I mean, it was like cold. <laughs> I mean, I got this everywhere, man. And I didn't realize that I had been like blacklisted somehow or or something, you know? Anyway, it's coming on 10 minutes. I gotta put pause and send it up to YouTube. I'm gonna make another one because I'm